This is Alaska, the last frontier, a vast and near mythical wilderness, and a place I've been dreaming about for years. Over the next few months, I'll be exploring this incredible region on my bicycle, and if you're watching this, you're coming along for the ride. In this first episode, I'll introduce myself and the two crazy humans who are joining me. We start our Alaskan adventure in the mountainous and spectacular Kenai Peninsula. We get acquainted with the bloodthirsty state bird of Alaska and learn how to wild camp in bear country. We also get very wet in our first taste of Alaska's famously fickle weather. This is Bikepacking Alaska, episode one, the Kenai. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, this is me. My name is Tristan, and I've spent the best part of the last seven years cycling around the world, covering around 70,000 kilometers through 70 countries. At the start of 2020, I was in Patagonia, planning on cycling all the way up through the full length of the Americas to reach the Arctic. That plan was derailed in Argentina by the pandemic, and I eventually flew back to Europe, but I'm now ready to restart my Pan American crossing from the other end, and will be slowly making my way back down to Ushuaia at the bottom of Patagonia over the next few years. My friends and I flew into Anchorage, and we decided to warm up with the first week in the Kenai Peninsula, just south of the city, before we'd be coming back through Anchorage and turning north. First, let me introduce you to my friends. My name is Chloe, I'm a French cyclist, I'm 31 years old, and I've been traveling the world on a bike since five years now. I came to Alaska because it's been a land of, uh, of dreams since I'm a teenager, and it's probably one of the last widest place in the world and um, yeah I'm just so very excited to cycle for days and days in the middle of nowhere surrounded by mountains and bears and mooses and I uh, yeah that's it. My name is Mathilde, I'm from France, I'm 28 years old. I come to Alaska because my friend just invited me to join them. <laughs> I really like uh, travel by bike and uh, it was the opportunity that I really want to take. I'm so excited to cross Alaska and I can't wait what is going to, <laughs> to happen. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you enjoying the Mosquito Fest? <laughs> giving a little bit of a literal cloud <laughs> of these guys. Looking very stylish there, Chloe. Sorry? Looking very stylish. I do. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be our... Uh, so sexy. That's gonna be uh, the outfit for the next month. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Pretty much. So better, Pretty much. You, you better enjoy it. <laughs> So this is uh, the end of day one, here on the roadside. We are cooking dinner here because uh, we don't want to cook next to the tents uh, because of bears. And there's a lot of mosquitoes around, it's pretty brutal, but less than there were around our tents, so that's kind of good. But anyway, day one Alaska, what a bloody beautiful place this is. The Kenai is famous for its single track, and after a day and a half on the highway, we turned off and started making our way up onto the trails. Okay, so here we are at the start of Resurrection Pass, start of the Kenai 250 route that we're gonna be doing here in the peninsula. Super excited. It's all up here for about 30 kilometers, so we're gonna be tired by the time we get to the top, but it's a beautiful day, so we are happy. What's the destination? Destination Ushuaia. Although we're actually going the wrong yeah. direction. Yeah, we're actually heading the wrong way. Always have to come back for the camera. <laughs> Trail was really hard. 
uh, I did my first fall <laughs> and the um, climb was difficult with the uh, with a big bike, you know, and my legs are not ready to do something like this now. It's only the first week. But step by step, it will be fine. I wasn't expecting much out of that Kenai Peninsula at all because I didn't know what to expect anyway. And uh, it turns out that it was extremely beautiful, like absolutely stunning. Uh, first few days were just, yeah, astonishing. People were absolutely lovely and surrounding sceneries, landscapes, mountains, lakes, colors were, um, yeah, absolutely out of space. And I just can't wait to see what's coming next. Hello, bears. Attention, bears. I'm coming around the corner. This is pretty tough. So, kind of a great situation right now. I'm absolutely certain that the other two have gone the wrong way because I got about five kilometers down this trail, crossed a patch of snow with no other tire prints visible and thought, that's not a good sign. Then I met three hikers who told me they hadn't seen any other cyclists today on the trail and there's no way they could have missed each other. So that means they've definitely gone the wrong way and I'm pretty sure they'd have taken the turn off down a different pass, Devil's Pass, which goes completely the wrong direction. This means I've got to go about five kilometers back uphill again. <sighs> so yeah, fun and games. <laughs> oh, why didn't they check the map? Oh, well, never mind. At least it's beautiful here. Anyway, let's go. So I know I'm on the right track. I've just met a couple of mountain bikers on the way up who confirmed that they met the troublesome pair of Frenchmen, Frenchmen and Frenchwomen, uh, on the way down. So I am at least going right. So I just have to catch them. Right, I found the miscreants. The Frenchman gun rogue. What what do you have to say for yourself? I fucked it up. I fucked it up. It's it. My bad. I it up. <laughs> okay, so because we came out in the wrong place because of the slight mix up, uh, we are gonna abandon our plan to ride the Russian Lakes loop. Right. Also because bad weather is forecast for tomorrow. So instead, we're going to head towards Seward straight away, where we have a warm showers host waiting for us tomorrow. So have a chill day, and then maybe do a hike, and then kind of round up and head back to Anchorage. So that'll be a fairly easy first week. Not too bad. Barely any mosquitoes. 
barely any except all the ones that are currently attacking us. <laughs> Lucky again, my mosquito spray. Uh huh. Yeah, nah, beautiful. It's stunning. So, if you're wondering about bears and how we deal with them, um, we are camping down there beside the lake. So, at dinner time, uh, basically, we have to just walk pretty fair distance away from where we're camping to cook and to eat because we don't want there to be any food smells anywhere near the tents. So now I'm going to cook and eat just here on the trail and then we're going to go back to the tents. We're going to pack up all of our food, all of our anything with a smell. So toothpaste, deodorant, anything like that has to go in to our bear bags, which are Kevlar reinforced bags that we're then going to bring back up here or somewhere quite far away from our tents, tie them to a tree, and hopefully the bear shouldn't be able to get into them. We also carry bear spray, which we can use if we run into bears, but hopefully we never need to use them. So, so yeah, that is how we deal with bears so far here in Alaska. So, so far, so good. So as expected, the weather has turned today. It's pretty, pretty rainy, cold and cloudy. So uh, yeah, I think the forecast is that it's gonna be like this for the next week. So it's probably a good thing that we didn't go back up the mountains for another pass last night. Um, but yeah, we have a warm showers host in, uh, in Seward. So it's about two hours ride to Seward. Um, these guys are taking a long time to pack up. So I've gone ahead rather than just standing around in the rain getting wet so i'll meet them in a few hours in town but yeah i guess we've got to start getting used to this weather it's going to be like this a lot i guess going north but hey it's still beautiful i guess the key is just staying warm As you can see, it's very wet here in Seward, so we're taking the day off just to have a bit of a walk around, take some photos, and have a rest. So it is just crazy beautiful out here. And I'm glad I'm not cycling today because it's pretty wet and miserable and camping in this kind of thing isn't fun, but just to walk around knowing that I've got a dry place to go back to, oh, it's just magic, absolutely stunning. Not really a fan of cloud, but when it looks like this, who's to argue? So we're now trying to hitchhike back from um, Seward at the end of the Kenai Peninsula for us. We're trying to hitchhike back from Seward to Anchorage with our bikes. And um, yeah, we've been here not very long yet, 20 minutes, no luck yet, but we have pretzels. <laughs> we do have pretzels, so we're fine. We have beers too, so fingers crossed we get something soon. Then it lasts for some day and all June. Yeah, true. Right. Been my junior year in high school. 